Hello students, this is your tutorial for creating a ceiling outlet symbol that could be used to control a fan or just a regular light. So here we go. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we're on the correct layer, electrical. Uh, we're going to go to the center radius circle and we're going to just click off to the side. I can move this later. And this time I'm going to have a 6 inch center radius. I'm going to zoom in, get a better look of it. I'm going to go down to my application status bar down here, and I'm going to find my object snaps. And right next to my object snaps is an arrow. I'm going to click that arrow, and I want to make sure that quadrant is selected. Again, you can left click to turn on quadrant on and off. A check mark indicates that it is on. I'm going to go up to my line command now, and I'm going to draw four lines. So I'm going to start at the top here. I'm going to click. I'm going to go straight up. And I'm going to draw this at 6 inches. I'm done with that, so I'm going to right-click and enter. Now, there are two different ways that you can go about this. Uh, you can go about just creating some more lines at each quadrant, like so, which is pretty quick itself. Or, one of the tools that we use that is not necessarily needed to create a ceiling outlet, but it does teach you a new tool, and that's going to be the Polar Array and the Modify Panel. So we go up to the array, where right now it's selected the rectangular array. We're going to select this arrow, and we're going to go down to Polar Array. In the command line, it states Select Objects. So I'm going to select my one object. This is the object I want to copy around my circle. This is the only object I want to copy around my circle. So I select it, and I can either right-click Enter, or I can hit Enter on the keyboard. Next, it asks me to center, or to specify the center point of my array. I'm just going to select the center of my circle, and when I do this, it comes up with some presets already. So you can see it's centering it around, and here are all my presets up at the top. For my items, I want to make sure that this is 4, and I can click off of into the one another boxes, and you can see here it creates 4, and I have it to fill the entire 360 degrees of the circle, and between them is 90 degrees. I don't need to change anything other than the items, which are 4. I am happy with my array. I can do a few different things. I could rotate, I could change the, date, uh, the base point, or I could change it from being associative. I don't really need to change anything right now, so I'm just going to select Close Array. When I do this, I have two objects. I have the Array object, and I have the Circle object. So just like the Duplex Outlet, I'm going to highlight all of my items. I'm going to go up to my Block Panel. I'm going to select Create. And for the name, I'm going to type my name as a ceiling outlet. I'm going to specify a point, which will be, I'm sorry, I'm going to pick a point, which will be the center. So I have my block. I can go ahead and hit OK. And now I have just one solid object in which I can click and move around or copy if I have multiple ceiling outlets. This is your tutorial for creating a ceiling outlet.